Hey Von and community, Mark here again from Sound Matters. Today we're taking a look at a brand new cleaning mat from Groove Washer, which is said to improve on their original splash pad. So it's a pad that looks like this, and it is a mat this time, not a microfiber towel. And I'll explain why as we get straight into this review. So the new record cleaning pad does replace that really colourful splash towel that you may recognise from some of my record cleaning videos, which is this towel here that came with my Mondo record cleaning kits from Groove Washer, which of course include the lovely walnut cleaning pad, the display block, and also the stylus cleaning kit in there as well. So it did ship with this, and this is a microfiber towel with a really kind of retro 60s tie-dye, I guess, type design on it. And it does look really striking, but this new pad does replace this one and has a couple of distinct advantages over this colorful microfiber towel. So if we take a quick look over at their website, you'll very quickly see that it's a much thicker design. There's a little bit more to it than just being a microfiber towel like the previous one. So there, it is 16 inches in diameter, so it's nice and big for cleaning full-size 12-inch records, of course. And there's two plies, there's two layers to this. So the top layer is a very fine suede material, which is a very protective on the record, of course. And then underneath for cushioning, you've got that kind of thick split fiber microfiber fab fabric as well. So this should be, in theory, thicker and also softer for cleaning records. So there's some advantages there and it's also apparently machine or hand washable, which is good. So here is the Big G record cleaning pad ready for me to clean a record off the table. And the first thing I really like about it and notice about it is because it's black, it just makes it easier to see how clean the surface I'm about to use to clean a record actually is. The black just shows up any dust and dirt and specks that might have landed on the towel gives me an opportunity to brush it off using a separate microfiber towel if I want beforehand or gives me an indication really as to whether or not this needs a thorough clean. Now, if I am being highly critical, then I would say it's a bit of a shame about some of these creases that are so obvious to see on the surface of the mat. Now, of course, quite obviously, this has happened because of having to fold the mat up for shipping purposes to make it a reasonable package for shipping and not full size 16 inches in diameter, which would make it quite difficult and a lot more expensive to ship, of course. Now, these creases, because it's a thicker mat and because of this velvet material on top, they show up more than they would do on a regular microfiber surface on the back here. My hope is over time these will fall out of the surface but I understand why they've done that and perhaps maybe if it is possible in future for it to be shipped maybe rolled up that might mitigate the issue but it really is a minor complaint because this is a utility for cleaning records not necessarily something that I'm going to spend a lot of time staring at or have out on a surface for obvious reasons because it's just going to gather dust. So I think we have to demonstrate this pad in action really because otherwise this could be a pretty boring video just to talk about a pad and show it to you. I don't think that goes far enough. So for a little bit of extra fun here, we're gonna demonstrate how somebody could deep clean a vinyl record off the turntable on a mat like this if you don't own a record cleaning machine because let's face it some of these record cleaning machines are pretty expensive so this is a copy of t-rex zinc alloy and i've cleaned it before using g2 lightly on the turntable but i think it needs just a little bit more attention so we're going to give it some love with the g3 fluid which is a slightly stronger step up from g2 in terms of emulsifiers and surfactants but that means it requires a secondary rinse stage using this distilled water mix with some surfactant in there so that it is a more efficient rinsing process. So it's a two-step cleaning process and we're going to use several pads to do this as well. We're going to use the Black Magic Clean Pad which has a more of a mechanical action on the record surface. That's for deep cleaning down in the record grooves and then we're going to mop up the cleaning fluid using a regular microfiber towel on another one of these lovely walnut cleaning pads. But of course I don't want to contaminate any of the cleaning um, fluids over to the rinse stage so we're then going to take a third record cleaning pad I'm going to use this exclusively with the GSR rinse stage. So this is a kind of several step-by-step -step process that somebody could use to attempt to deep clean a record without those costly 
record cleaning machines. So firstly, apply your label protector and then we can spray the record with G3 fluid. A few sprays is generally enough to cover the record surface, but we want to make sure it is pretty well covered. Give it about a minute at least to spread across the grooves, but giving it more time will actually give the fluid more time to work. Once the fluid has spread, we can then use our black magic pad to start applying that mechanical kind of cleaning process on the grooves. But so because the black magic pad has those very, very fine, very soft bristles, it will lock into the grooves. You will feel it do so as you go around the record surface in a circular motion, of course, but you can go back and forth on it as long as you stay in circular motions and you really feel those very fine fibers lock in to those grooves we're applying a little bit of mechanical cleaning process as i say to the process so we can try and remove some of that more stubborn more entrenched dirt in the record now it's not very absorbent as a pad so we're going to do this a few times we're going to go around the record a few times and then we're going to need to use the other microfiber towel to absorb the actual fluid and take it away take that contaminated fluid away from the record surface so as I say, once we're done with this, we can then go over to the microfiber towel on the other pad, and this will be much more effective at actually absorbing the fluid and taking it away from the record surface. You'll really notice how, how absorbent the microfiber towel is compared to the black magic pad. So once we've mopped up all the cleaning fluid and the record is air dry, we can apply that rinse stage. Now I've transferred some GSR over to a, another spray bottle just because I find this applies the GSR rinse stage to the record surface more evenly. I find that works better. So I'm spraying that on here now, as you can see, and this is the final step of our cleaning process. We use a separate microfiber towel to mop this up so that we're not contaminating each one of those brushes. I just find this is the cleanest least contaminated way of cleaning a record by hand. So because the second microfiber towel is so dry, it will clean all of that GSR rinse off the surface of the record. It will mop it up really quickly. And basically we're now there. We have deep cleaned a vinyl record without the need for a costly vinyl record cleaning machine. This is a good approach for people who can't afford such a machine or just don't have the space to store these large devices so it's an effective way of doing things and the big g cleaning pad that we've used to do this does a good job of padding the record from the wooden surface that i'm using obviously to clean the record but that velvet top also just is super soft and kind on the record and allows us to see any potential contamination dirt that might be on our cleaning pad surface good stuff so thank you ever so much for watching that concludes today's overview let us know what you think down in the comments below i think it does present an improvement on the original design specifically actually because it is black you can just see so much more of any of the dirt that might be laying on the surface your record cleaning surface and it does make cleaning away from the turntable for thorough cleaning by hand much easier and much safer but thank you ever so much for watching if you'd like to check this out for yourself again there's a link in the description below and you can get 10% off your purchase using the discount code which is also in that same description but if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing and we will see you in that next one thanks ever so much once again keep spinning